A very good evening to our distinguished guests, especially the Honorable Pierre Young, our principal, Mr. Alan Genoni, the International Office Advisor, Mr. Tony De Gucci, the entire staff at Canyon College, and my fellow graduates. My name is Pasha. I'm from Iran. I have been a student at Canyon College for the past two years. Before I commence my speech, I would first like to start by saying that this is a huge, huge honor for you all to be here and listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it. Despite having problems with memorizing the differences between Homo neanderthals and Homo sapiens, or finding out the derivative of log functions, we managed to finish the last year of secondary school. Yes. <laughs> and yes, Simon, I've written this species name in italics. <laughs> Finally, this is our time. I want to give a big congratulation to everyone, including myself, for being here to celebrate the end of the exhausting year 12 program. <laughs> And of course, the late night studying at Curtin Library, preparing for my exams. <laughs> but don't get too happy, guys. We've got only 50% of our marks. So you better stay focused on the syllabus for your both exams. It was only two years ago that I decided to move to Perth to continue my studies. Literally, I can't remember how it happened. It happened so quickly. It took a lesson five months for me to apply, get my visas, pack my stuff, and leave Iran for both. At first, I was a little afraid of feeling lonely and communicating with new people, especially in another language, was very stressful for me to think about. The orientation program was all I needed to overcome my fear. I made many friends on the first day. It was amazing. Guess what my next challenge was? Well, I met a lot of people, and now I had to memorize all their names. <laughs> Admittedly, it was not that easy. Now it was the time to experience a new feeling. The feeling when you want to talk to someone, but you can't remember their names. <laughs> it was embarrassing. But now, I'm standing here, tall and proud, knowing the name of every single one of you, but this most of you. <laughs> and of course, my English has improved significantly thanks to my ELAX teachers and ABC Behind the News program. I was referred by BTA. <laughs> During these two years, I have learned many new things about Australia, their culture, the food that they eat, and the sport that they play. Footy, for example, I didn't know about it. But I let you in on a secret. I still don't know about it. <laughs> but at least I know the team that I'm supporting. <laughs> Was it from Mantle Dockers? <laughs> oh, I know, Simon, it is the Eagles. <laughs> but I'm still deciding between the two. <laughs> Maybe I should go for an Eastern State team. Oh, no. <laughs> During my journey, I was more fortunate than many others, as I had the company of my family. I, want to thank, I would like to thank my mother, father, and sister for giving me the opportunity of a lifetime by bringing me to Australia and for caring for my well-being. So thank you so much. Before coming to Australia, I thought a teacher was just someone who helps you to read and write. But now I think I was wrong. My teachers here are much closer to me. They're like my friends, but with the ability to teach me life skills. They are the ones who unselfishly shared their talents, time, and knowledge with us. And we are very thankful to them. And believe me, being my teacher is not that easy. <laughs> Especially when it comes to test marking. Am I right, Simon? <laughs> It has been a long year, but here we are, finally ready to graduate. We worked really hard to get this one. 
but we didn't do it by ourselves. We owe a huge debt of gratitude to our parents who are constantly pushing us to give up that phone and study, <laughs> and of course our teachers who always manage to find questions that we don't know the answer to. <laughs> My dear advisors, and of course all the staff at the international office, I just don't know how to thank you all. During my journey, you were the one showing me the way. And let me admit that the ISO was my happy place at school. Whatever problem that I had, no matter what it was, the international office was the first place for me to visit. Also, I want to thank all of my friends, those who didn't let me feel lonely, even for a second. And something that I learned here is that there is nothing better than a friend, unless it's a friendly chocolate. <laughs> Over the coming years, you may forget some science facts or calculus formula you learned here. But remember, to be strong, like the robust big toe of bipeds in biology, have backup in life, like Ray Penny computer science, Identify the critical path of your life and try to solve any problem, like solving a log function in maths. Be confident as you have been in oral presentations for ELX. And evaporate your mistakes as you would in chemistry. Thank you for choosing me to be the valedictorian for 2018. Good luck to my fellow students in your coming exams. And I wish you success in whatever you do in life. Thank you so much.